Have you ever wondered how Starfleet ships zoom across the galaxy, or how the Borg seem to pop up everywhere at once? The secret lies in their incredible propulsion systems, which allow them to defy the conventional speed limits of the universe. It is a fascinating topic that dives deep into the heart of Star Trek's technological marvels. At its core, the difference between warp and transwarp comes down to speed and efficiency in faster-than-light travel. Warp drive is the standard method used by most starfaring civilizations, enabling vessels to exceed the speed of light by bending spacetime. Transwarp, however, represents a significantly more advanced and often faster form of propulsion, pushing beyond the limits of traditional warp technology to achieve unprecedented velocities and travel efficiencies. The fundamental principle behind warp drive is the creation of a subspace field, often called a warp bubble, around a starship. Inside this bubble, spacetime is compressed in front of the vessel and expanded behind it, effectively moving the ship without it actually exceeding the speed of light within its local spacetime. Think of it like riding a wave. Transwarp takes this concept to the next level. It can involve various sophisticated technologies, such as utilizing quantum slipstream corridors, directly interfacing with the fabric of subspace in a new way, or creating unstable, temporary shortcuts across vast distances. This advanced methodology allows transwarp capable vessels to bypass many of the speed limitations inherent in standard warp drive, potentially reaching destinations in hours that would take a conventional warp ship weeks or months. For most Starfleet vessels, warp drive is the workhorse of interstellar travel. It is reliable, relatively well understood, and powers the bulk of exploration and defense missions across the Federation. Transwarp, on the other hand, is a much rarer and more experimental technology. In the Star Trek universe, it is predominantly associated with highly advanced civilizations like the Borg, who use transwarp conduits to traverse enormous galactic distances almost instantaneously, or with experimental Federation projects like the USS Voyager's quantum slipstream drive. These specialized systems allow for tactical advantages and exploration capabilities for beyond what standard warp drives can offer, though often at higher energy costs or with increased risks. An interesting detail is how warp speed is often measured in factors, with warp factor 10 representing infinite speed in early Star Trek lore. However, transwarp vehicles can effectively exceed or bypass this scale entirely. The Borg, for example, do not typically refer to warp factors when discussing their travel. Instead, they measure in terms of spatial displacement and transit time, highlighting a fundamentally different approach to faster-than-light travel. This superior technology gives them a strategic mobility that conventional warp-driven fleets struggle to counter, allowing them to appear almost anywhere in the galaxy with terrifying swiftness. Ultimately, both warp and transwarp drives are mechanisms for faster-than-light travel, essential for the expansive narratives of Star Trek. While warp technology bends spacetime to propel starships across the stars, Transwarp represents a significant evolutionary leap, allowing for even greater speeds and efficiencies, often through more complex and experimental means. This difference in propulsion power translates directly into varying levels of galactic reach and tactical capability, shaping the very dynamics of power and exploration within the universe.